Hey everybody, Dr. O here. So do you want the good news or the bad news? Right? The good, really good news is you're not broken, right? We just showed, I just showed you that with the last couple of videos about metabolism. We don't stop moving because our metabolism slow down as we age or if we are female. We stop moving and then our metabolisms slow down. It makes me think of this quote from Louis Simmons. He's a famous um, power lifter. When you don't do things, that's when you can't do things. Right, remember this quote, every time you do something challenging, doing less isn't the answer. Keep doing it until it becomes easy. I talk about this with my dad. He's, um, you know, he says he's getting winded when he goes up the stairs. Well, there's two options. You can stop going up the stairs and then get weaker and weaker, or you can go up the stairs more until it gets easier and easier. And that's the approach that I told him he should take. All right, so the good news is that if we are the problem, we can also be the solution. So let's look at how NEAT, or non-exercise activity thermogenesis, is the best long-term plan to boost your metabolism and lose weight fast. So we're, go we're going back to the charts from the last video. So how does NEAT boost your metabolism? So we remember this chart from the last video. We're looking at fat-free mass and then energy expenditure. So just, this is the one that showed that people can have wildly different um, energy expenditures, even if they weigh the same amount or are the same size. So it shows you, though, that at any weight, wherever you are on the chart, you can burn a lot more calories than you currently are, unless you're already at the top, all those dots at the top. If that's the case, you aren't here. You're not here taking a course on how to boost your weight loss because you're losing, you're burning six or 7,000 calories a day. NEAT isn't the biggest piece of the metabolism puzzle, but it is the biggest piece that you can control, right? It would take a huge amount of exercise to burn more calories in the gym than you do outside of it. So this is basically showing us that, that wherever you are on this, on this chart, you can increase your energy expenditure without even changing how much fat-free mass you have, which means we can all burn more calories. And this one shows that the key to boosting your basal metabolic rate is to increase your fat-free mass. So as you, as you, if you put on muscle, if you add fat-free mass, you'll shift to the right on that chart and your daily energy expenditure will go up. You, you, a larger engine burns more fuel even at rest. You can't grow another brain or another liver, but you can control how much you move throughout the day, right? Physical activity doesn't just burn calories today. It stokes your resting metabolic rate as well so that you burn more calories all year round. So looking at these charts, we know that wherever you are, however much you weigh, however much fat-free mass you have, we know you can burn more calories today by increasing your physical activity. We also know that you can increase your fat-free mass and burn more calories every day. Let's look at a study that actually shows the link between physical activity and basal metabolic rate. The effects of habitual physical activity on the resting metabolic rates and body compositions of women aged 35 to 50 years. So these women, between the ages of 35 and 50, were classified as either active, which meant they were physically active nine hours per week, or sedentary, they were physically active only one hour per week. The active group that moved more had a resting metabolic rate of 1,510 calories per day. The sedentary group had a resting metabolic rate of 1,443 calories per day. That's a 67 calorie per day difference. That would be 24,455 calories per year, and that's enough to burn seven pounds of fat per year just by having that elevated resting metabolic rate. We're not even talking about the calories they burned by moving eight more hours per week. So they burned more by moving and burned more at rest. So it was no surprise that in this study, uh, the group that was physically active nine hours per week had an average body fat percentage of 18.9%. The group that was physically active only one hour per week had an average body fat percentage of 28.8%. So this shows you that physical activity will help you burn more calories today and burn more calories every day. I'm living proof of this. I've told you this before, but I was able to boost my resting metabolic rate by 181 calories per day while losing 165 pounds. That's shocking. Most people that lose weight see their resting metabolic rate go down. Mine actually went up 181 calories per day. Now, I also added strength training and I slept and I, and I used my fasting program. I did all that kind of stuff. So I added strength training on top of my physical activity, but that's a story for my next course. I'm not saying that just walking and standing more was, was the only reason my metabolic rate climbed up, but it was part of it. All right, so what are our key takeaways here? Neat burns calories. So all physical activity counts, whether it's in the gym or not. Neat builds muscle. Not as much as strength training, but it, help, it helps you build some, especially if you're not already physically active. And neat boosts your resting metabolic rate. Now we haven't even talked about the fact that neat 
controls your appetite so you'll eat less as well. So hopefully you should be burning more calories today, burning more calories every day, right? Raising your metabolic rate and controlling your appetite in a way that leads to weight loss. So I know it isn't magic, but it sure seems awfully close. What are action steps? Fix your lifestyle to fix your metabolism. That's what all of this data has shown us so far. All right, so next up, we're, we're going to see how some people are just neater than others. I hope this one helped. Have a wonderful day. Be blessed.